Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss 2, 3, 4 problems in exercise 5.2 in quadratic equations of 10th class mathematics. Right? So, before doing these problems, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's discuss these problems. Yeah. See, this is the second one. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. Find two numbers whose sum is 27 and product is 182. Here we have to find the two positive numbers which sum is 27 has given and their product is 182. Let us find yeah solution. Given sum of the numbers sum of the numbers is equal to 27 and the product of the numbers product of the numbers is equal to 182 right yeah here first uh, using this concept we have to write the quadratic equation we have to write the quadratic equations and after that we have to find the numbers right yeah so here let the number be let a number be suppose x number b x other number how much then other number is equal to other number is equal to actually sum of two numbers is 27 one number is x then other number is equal to yes how much 27 minus x right 27 minus x isn't it so according to the problem first uh, product of the numbers product of these numbers is equal to x into 27 minus x right yes x into 27 27 x minus x into x x square now write down according to the problem according to the problem here 27x minus x square is equal to how much has given product of the numbers is equal to 182 na. now these numbers transfer into this side so that will be then that implies x square minus 27x plus 182 is equal to 0 now for 182 we have to find the factors so for, by getting 27 see here 13 14 is a 182 and 13 plus 14 is 27 right now write as factors by factorization method so this can be written as x square minus 14x minus 13x plus 182 is equal to 0 right here see minus 14x minus 13x will become minus 27x next term minus 14 into minus 13 will become plus 182 have you got it yes in these both what is the common x is the common okay x minus 14 here in these both minus 13 is the common one x minus 14 is equal to 0 again x minus 14 is the common one here the remaining part is x minus 13 is equal to 0 so x minus 14 is equal to 0 or x minus 13 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 14 or x is equal to 13 so the numbers will be 14 and 13 see here in case 1 case 1 x if x is equal to if x is equal to 14 then the other number the other number is equal to yes see here other number suppose a x one number b x other number is equal to 27 minus x na? so 27 minus 14 that is equal to 30 right next in case 2 if x is equal to 13 then other number other number is equal to other number is equal to 27 minus 13 that will be 14 if x is 14 then other number be 13 if x is 13 then other number be 14 therefore the required required numbers are required numbers are what 13 and 14 have you understood clearly yes note it down
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड टू कॉन्सिक्यूटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर समेर सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टीन फाइंड टू कॉन्सिक्यूटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर समूज स्क्वायर सीज सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी ये सर लेट इज टेक टू कॉन्सिक्यूटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स सपोज वन इंटीजर इज टू देन अनदर वन इज कॉन्सिक्यूटिव वन इज थ्री टू प्लस वन थ्री नेक्स्ट वन इज थ्री प्लस वन फोर लाइक दैट सपोज इफ यू टेक फर्स्ट नंबर इज फर्स्ट पॉजिटिव इंटीजर एज एक्स देन अदर नंबर विल बी एस एक्स प्लस वन राइट एस लेट एस टेक लाइक दैट सोल्यूशन लेट द टू कॉन्सिक्यूटिव कॉन्सिक्यूटिव पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स बी एक्स एंड एक्स प्लस वन राइट यस हैज गिवेन सम ऑफ हुज स्क्वायर्स इज सम ऑफ हुज स्क्वायर्स सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर्स ऑफ दीज इंटीजर्स दीज इंटीजर्स is equal to x square plus x plus 1 whole square see sum of the squares of these integers these integers b x and x plus 1 no sum of the squares of these integers is equal to x square plus x plus 1 whole square right yes that is equal to x square plus x plus 1 whole square means x square plus 2 into x into 1 plus 1 square it is in the form of a plus b whole square na a square plus 2ab plus b square this is equal to x square plus x square plus 2 into x into 1 is 2x plus 1 so this is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 isn't it yes according to the problem according to the problem see 2x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to how much has given is 613 see sum of whose squares is 613 clearly given so we have to write that 613 yes this is equal to 2x square plus 2x plus 1 613 transpose to this side minus 613 is equal to 0 now this is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 613 minus 612 is equal to 0 right yes here 2x square plus 2x minus 612 is equal to 0. This is all the even numbers are there, no? So divide with 2. So if you divide on both sides with 2, means this will become x square plus x minus 306, right? So that implies this is equal to x square plus x minus 306 is equal to 0. Yes, for 306 we have to find the factors by getting x see 1817 is how much 1817 is yes, 306 only na yes here minus 306 is there that is equal to 18 into 17 18 into 17 will become my 306 minus we got here plus 1 plus 1 is there that's why for bigger number we have to keep plus and smaller number minus right so plus 18 minus 17 will become plus 1x And uh, plus 18 into minus 17 will become minus 306. Understood? Yeah. So that implies this can be written as x square plus 18x minus 17x minus 306 is equal to 0. Isn't it? So in this one, x is the common means x plus 18 is the remaining part. In this both minus 17 if you do common, so x plus 18 is the remaining part is equal to 0. So x plus 18. And x minus 17, x plus 18 and x minus 17 is equal to zero, right? Yeah. So here, x plus 18 is equal to zero, or x minus 17 is equal to zero. X is equal to minus 18, or x is equal to plus 17. Here, positive only, positive integers only has given no. So that's why we have to take uh, x is equal to 17 only. X is equal to 17. Therefore, x is equal to 17. Positive integer. Positive integer. 
सो इफ एक्स इज ईक्वल टू सेवेंटीन नेक्स्ट नंबर विल बिकम हाउ मच एटीन सो इफ एक्स इज ईक्वल टू सेवेंटीन देन अदर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर पॉजिटिव इंटीजर इज ईक्वल टू सेवेंटीन प्लस वन दट इज एटीन देर फॉर द रिक्वायर्ड रिक्वायर्ड पॉजिटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स इंटीजर्स आर सेवेंटीन एंड एटीन हैव यू अंडरस्टूड क्लियरली ये नोट इट ऑन नेक्स्ट फोर्थ क्वेश्चन द एल्टिट्यूड ऑफ योर राइट ट्रैंगल इज सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स लेस दैन इट्स बेस इफ द हाइपोटेन्यूस इज थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर फाइंड अदर टू साइड्स सी द एल्टिट्यूड ऑफ योर राइट ट्रैंगल इज सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स लेस दैन इट्स बेस सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स लेस दैन इट्स बेस इफ द हाइपोटेन्यूस ऑफ ए हाइपोटेन्यूस इज थर्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स फाइंड अदर टू साइड्स लेट एस फाइंड या सी Suppose this is a right angle triangle. This is the right angle triangle. Here hypotenuse has given 13 centimeters. Next, uh, its altitude is altitude of a right triangle is 7 centimeters less than its base given. Now, suppose base uh, is x meters, say x centimeters or meters. Uh, yes, centimeters only given. X centimeters. Then its altitude will be x minus 7 centimeters. right so by using this data first we have to write in the quadratic equation after that we have to find the lengths of these sides right yeah write down solution let the base base of the triangle triangle b is x centimeters right it's uh, Its altitude is equal to now altitude is equal to how much? X minus seven centimeters. Next, given given its hypotenuse hypotenuse is equal to how much? Thirteen centimeters, right? So we know very well in a right angle triangle. In a right angle triangle, the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides, right? By Pythagoras theorem. Yes. Here yeah, in a right angle triangle, right angled triangle, hypotenuse hypotenuse square is equal to Sum of the squares of the remaining sides, remaining sides, right? Yes, here hypotenuse square is thirteen square is equal to yes, here remaining square sides means x square plus x minus seven whole square, isn't it? Thirteen square means yes, one sixty nine. Thirteen thirteen is a 169 is equal. This is x square plus it is in the form of a minus b whole square, which means a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? So here x square plus b square means 7 square minus 2 into x into 7. So 169 is equal to x square plus x square plus 49 minus 2 7s are 14x, right? Yes, uh, 169 also transfer into this side. Then this will become x square plus x square, 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169. Right? Uh, yes, this will become then 2x square, 2x square minus 14x. See, 49 minus 169 will become s minus 120. Minus 120 is equal to zero. Next. Uh, Here, to second table get cancelled on these uh, three terms, no? So cancel it. Then this will become x square, x square minus seven x minus sixty is equal to zero. Yes. For sixty, we have to find the factors by get to get minus seven means here. Ah, uh, what are the factors? Twelve five is a twelve five is a sixty, and twelve minus five will become seven only, na? So according to that, write down x square. Minus 12x 
plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0. See, 12x minus 5x. Minus 12x plus 5x will become minus 7x. Minus 12 into plus 5, minus 60. So that is equal to here, what is the common term? x is the common term, x minus 12. Here in these both, plus 5 is the common one, x minus 12 is equal to 0. Right. So again, if you do x minus 12 as a fa common, the remaining part is x plus 5 is equal to 0. Here, x minus 12 is equal to 0, x plus 5 is equal to 0. x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 5. Right. Here, the length of the sign, no. The length of the side should not consider as a negative value, right? Yes. x is equal to minus 5 should not consider consider therefore x is equal to 12 x is equal to 12 centimeters therefore therefore the sides are sides are 12 centimeters under 12 minus 7 no, no, no. 12 minus 7 that is equal to 5 centimeters Understood clearly? X is equal to 12 centimeters and second one altitude is 12 minus 7, 5 centimeters. So have you understood clearly? Yes, note it down. Okay friends, if you like my video, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much.